Hey guys, War of Empires here, and today we're going to be exploring the bed and breakfast house I built. So yeah, let's begin. So before we get into the house, we're going to see that there's this little, like, lines over here. Fences with boats on each side. And this is just basically saying, making a line for anyone who wants to go on a boat. This is, they can like, go on this line. Not hard to build, really easy. Just have some spaces in between the boats and just fill them with fences. Next, we have, now we have our bed and breakfast. And before we go in, to hear the sign saying bed and breakfast, and it's very well lighted, lighted for, it, it should stop mobs, okay, it should be okay to stop mobs. Okay, once you go in, first thing you want to see is and when you enter is ender chest, they can be filled with anything, right now they just have stone chest. And you go straight and you see a villager right here, this is with like where you can pay for the money and get, before you go to the bedroom, get a bedroom key and all that stuff. Well, the same thing like hotels, like main desk. You can see some pictures in there, like, and then, yeah. Before we check that area out, we're gonna head into the bedroom. So, there's brick tiles. Yeah, brick tiling. And, yeah, this is, they have lots. Of, here's a bed. A uh, two-person bed. One crafting table. And photos, and it's also is very well lit. You can get lots of nice viewing area here. Very easy. And, yeah, another ender chest in case you want to get the items you placed in that chest over there. You got enchantment, you got repair and anvil, stuff like that, jukebox, more crafting tables and books. And you have a regular chest for yourself. The, overall, I think the room's pretty nice. You got some more paintings here, pretty nice, right? Right, right. And here are the buttons. One is on the door, one is next to it. There we go. So before, now we're going to head toward the kitchen. So when we enter the kitchen, the first thing we see is the flooring is um, black and white wool. And then we see right here, two dispensers with food in it, and then um, three furnaces with this like over thing that's over it to make sure like smell and steam doesn't like spread around the whole house. And this is a caller, I think. So um, you place water in it. It's like it's for brewing. So yeah, you just click the, the switch right here, and I got my thing. I think the second one is broken. Yeah, but other than that, this is um. Okay, mechanism, pretty good. And again, there's lots of good lighting and um, windows, as well as painting. So now you're gonna want a place to eat. You can either go back to your bedroom and eat, or you can come here where there's two, uh, two seats, two tables, or right here, just sit alone, like a loner. And then we got some more paintings. And if you look up in the roof, you can see more lighting, and it's a nice, like, overhead design. And then you can go on top of the bedroom. I mean, like, you can't actually do that but in like survival mode still. Yeah, and right here, you there is the door supposed to be here, but I created this so the villager couldn't get out. And if you want an iron chest plate with fire protection, go ahead and trade this guy for stuff. Yep. And yeah. Well, let's check out the outside once more again before the sun the sun's going down. So yeah. So this is how the top looks and if you wanna see the sides, the back. There's one thing about the back is um because of the main desk I had to like make this little bump oops right here. And um yeah. And also the benefits of these boats right here. You can travel this way. And um yeah, you can travel this way and end up in the dead end. Or you can travel that way where I'm continue I'm still working on this, so uh, there's an opening over there. So yeah, this is overall it's a nice house. Materials used is made mainly oak wood, um, redstone torches, uh, do oak wood and and red sand. I think I said oak wood twice. Yep, I did. Okay, so um, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. And if you want to build this house, your house yourself, I believe it's nine by fourteen. So build. Nine, nine across. Sorry, you have fourteen across, I believe, and nine. Actually, hold on. Oh, sorry, it's not nine by fourteen. It's like actually, I have no idea. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. 
Oh, sorry, it's 20 by 14, okay. Yeah, it's 20 by 14. Yep, that's the house, and you can build this group if, if you want. And yeah, I hope this, I hope this, like, video was helpful. If you guys want to see me, if you guys want to see me build a house, um, please comment below and ask any questions you needed. And if you guys want to uh, see more houses I built, and yeah, just then also comment below and give my, give a, give this video a rate. This, this house only took just a bit of, no, wait, hold on, no more. This bed and breakfast only took 30 minutes to build, so it's pretty easy. I'm pretty sure. Make your own design. And one other convenient thing is, even when you're in the desert and you need somewhere to stay, or maybe you're in the Grand Canyon looking for a place to stay, maybe you're in the desert, that's a great place to stay. This, you can always change your design due to um, different environments, climate features, all that type of stuff. So if I was going to build somewhere like in the grasslands, I'd probably just use like cobblestone and like bricks and all that stuff for my out outside design. Yeah, so thanks for watching everybody. Hope you had a good time. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Rate, rate this video and share it with all your friends. Tell all of them about my channel and remember to check out my last video. I think it was the rival games. Yup, I think it was. So yeah, see ya. Peace.